What's up everybody, Peacekeeper and today for you guys I will bring you the recap of the city build So the city build is over And we can see that we have been promoted to Crystal 1 I have 239 medals Which is awesome So this is how the great one really was 7 wars, we won 5 out of the 5 out of the 7 Which was decent We ended up coming 2nd in our CWL and this is how everyone ended up I ended up with 17 stars Birdis is 17 Phoenix is 16 Loose Cannon is 16 Nuclear is 15 Firefly is 15 Five Bananas is 14 Big Bird is 12 James for the win 11 6 Power 10 Elena 10 Connor 10 Trent Paul 9 Banjo 9 Super Moose 9 Vans 9 Magnog 8 Deficient 1, 8, Binjo 7, Crosswatch 5, Bird 3, Killer 2, and then so on so on. So shout out to everyone in this clan that just came over and do some civil attacks as well. It was really fun to do civil with you guys all the time. So hopefully I will be able to do civil in KOZ. I enjoy doing it over here in Eden just to practice and get better. So this is just how to break down the 7th war, we had a few triples from Phoenix, Nuclear, Birdis, Binjo, Big Bert, Magnog for sure, Loose Cannon, Super Moose, and 6th power, there's all the guys that tripled in our last war. In our 6th war, we ended up winning 33-30, so just a couple breakdowns, so I ended up getting a triple, um, Birdis got a triple, Deficient one got a triple. Bad bananas ended up getting a triple as well. And six power got a triple. So that's our sixth war. The fifth war we ended up losing. Ended up losing 27 to 34. Ended up missing two attacks, but we wouldn't have been able to win. We had a couple two one stars and a non hit. So that's where we lost that war. But deficient one ended up getting a triple. And I got a triple in that war also. So in our fourth war, we ended up winning 42 to 5. So basically, they had a no show on this one. Had a lot of triples. We could have could have got a close, very close to our to the perfect war. But we just got a two star for Meg. 90% to be safe. So really good hit by Meg. Meg is a really is really gonna. To be a good, really good attacker, she practices a lot when she can. So shouts out to Meg. Super Moose got a triple. Banjo got a triple. James, everyone got a triple here. Loose Cannon, then it's Trent Poi got a triple. Bird is Phoenix, Nuclear, and Firefly. So just a couple. Just a couple tools. Maybe it could have been true with a lot of perfect war. So well then to us in our fourth war against Bass Camp Queen and. We ended up winning this war as well against the Warriors, level 13 clan, 31 to 27. So, good few attacks from us. I had a high 2, 79% 2, Phoenix was 72% 2, Nuclear for 96% 2, and then there's Firefly came in with a triple, Bird is coming in with a triple as well, Connor or Connor got a triple, Elena got a triple, and James for the win got a triple as well. So. We won this war 31 to 27. You can see just a one star, but that's all fine. Everyone will not do very good in all their war tasks, because especially me, I ended up failing my last war task on seventh day, but we still still pulled out our promotion. So the second war, we won again as well, 35 to 29. So couple high uh, two stars, couple triples for nuclear British. Trent and Banjo as well as Crossbox Elaine and that's yeah that is all yeah and James for the win so that's all the triples we got in our second war in the first war we ended up losing by so 26 of 32 just had a couple one stars from us but that's how normally the first war really goes. You just have to just keep practicing and you have to plan as well. So I didn't really have. I ended up getting 98% on the 5, which 
It was really rough uh, on the war. But we st I still think we did pretty decent in our uh, CWL. Sorry, I'm not going to triple number three actually. But we st I, think I still think we did really good. We got ended up getting 282 stars with 8,617% damage. And Latin Force ended up pulling up first place with 206 stars and 8,769 destruction and bass camp queen ended up being demoted so i believe they want to be at a lower lower league in the lower leagues to get a better better round because i think it was more of a little bit of a mismatch for them but that's all fine but that's how everything pulled out we ended up winning the wars we did pretty i think we did really well in our attacks and planning and pulling out say two but we did get promoted, I got 239 medals, so I'll just be saving those up for future upgrades I want to do on the base, you guys still have a good few upgrades, I can show you what I've been doing a little bit off camera, so I do have a full treasury, I have my super wall breaker still going on from season well, still doing some attacks and stuff, but I have my giga inferno with the towers all down, so I'm just going to be working a couple of walls. I still want to get my my heroes up a bit. I just want to I don't want to be dropping my queen and leaving her. But I'm going to be saving the hammer of heroes. Just to be upgrading her. But I want. I ho Let me know how you guys see where are going. How couple, I can maybe show a couple triples. And I'm going to show a triple from Nuclear. Because he's a really decent attacker. So he's coming in. It was Even though it was a dip. I still think. Just gonna speed through the dip a bit, using a little bit yetis, just mass yetis. But even though when you're doing attacking yourself, you're planning, even though like if you are dipping, it's still good to plan because you can feel the dip. And no one likes feeling dip, so it's always good to plan and go through what can happen, what right will happen if this if you get this funnel right or what can go wrong if you don't get a funnel right. So you have to be busy planning for two things in a war attack, but that's really all for doing CWL if you want to be really competitive or you're just doing it for the medals. It's, both is fine, honestly, but it's really up to how you want to participate here. So well if you like to plan or just spam an attack. So planning is always good and when you're doing CWL hits, but I hope you guys enjoyed this short little recap. I didn't show much, much hits really. Just wanted to go through and show you guys how some of my clan mates did in the wars using this. Use a lot of attack strategies, mostly high bread yetis, and I don't know if we use any e drags, but we had a good bit of hybrid. Hybrid is a really good versatile attack. You can really. I would, you can set it up as if you want to get a save 2 potential triple because that's how you want to be going to see where you really want to get the height to start especially if you have all level 13 clan players so it's always good to go for that save 2 potential triple because that's how you can win wards really especially high percent twos so if you can keep that up as a high as a clan 13 clan I believe you can really do well and see the well but like I said I hope you guys enjoyed the quick little recap of some of the tasks we guys did if you did like the video hit the like button subscribe if you're new to join the peace squad but don't forget to hit the notification bell to not miss any class class content because I really enjoy posting these videos for you guys it's just something for learning experience to help you guys out with smart tasks pushing or farming or whatever you want help with but like I said I hope you guys have an awesome day and let me know how your see the rule went down below if you guys promoted or demoted I just stayed in your league but like I said hope you guys have an awesome day I'm Peacekeeper and I'm out